Hi Aries. Welcome to your Virgo season, September 2024 reading. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version of this reading, which will be in the first link below. All right, let's get into your reading. I'm running a special for the new moon. So if you're looking for astrology, tarot, or astro life coaching, please take a look at my website, contact me. Any questions, it'll be half off all services. Okay. First things first, lovers, ten of pentacles, ten of swords, the hermit. More to follow. Seven of wands. There's still more cards. We're going to start with this. What you may have been revealed to, especially as of lately through forms of communication from doing your day-to-day -day tasks, the things that you maybe do every day. If you write something down every day or you do listen to something every day, you're starting to gain a sense of security around the work that you've put in, the energy you put in, the time you've put in, you're starting to be communicating what's possible for your future, where you want to continue to put your energy, but where also you may feel burnt out, you know, where you may have feel like you need space from listening and now you need time to decipher, you need to time to go in to see what actually works and the retrograde is has brought you there into that space where you can fine tune the details of your plan, where you can lay to rest whatever is and can no longer be worked on, where you've done enough work on something and now you need to move on to the next. It's becoming very clear to you during this time and will be, if it wasn't loud or if you're unsure of where the next avenue to go, where the next venture is to see, I would sit with what has been coming to a close. What commitments, your day-to-day -day commitments, your the way you commit to your relationship, what is being shown to you that is changing. And that where if you continue to react or take offense to what you're not receiving yet you're not asking for or there is you're in a specific time in your relationship whether it's with yourself or with someone else or with the other people in your life it's those even your work relationship that is what has been adjusting for so long and now you're finally coming to a place where you can really give the proper time and energy to look at the next long-term goal, especially if you've been wrapping up some things. You're also going to be more encouraged to take a look at what or what's going to be brought to the forefront is what you have been has been unclear until now. What maybe you're wondering, okay, I've gotten to this point, maybe luck has been around wherever it's been for you. It's coming back, but it's saying at the same time, whatever you're experiencing and the fortune that you're coming into and the communities that you're maybe perhaps ending and now you're moving into another area, you're realizing that there are certain parts of how you got and where you got before and how like those go to movements or words or ways of going about getting to the next step are changing that the way in which your fortune is being even adjusted, your luck, your, the position of that is even being adjusted, is through 
what you're you'll find that the nuanced part of it this month is how you're emotionally reacting to perhaps giving your the way you go about giving and receiving and where you have invested a lot of time maybe an energy in something that has I'm thinking of the coyote and some lore of the coyote is the trickster. It tricks you into thinking, into getting what you think you want, only to find out it's not really what you want. You know, it's when you manifest something and it's been your dream and it's been your goal, and then all of a sudden you get to it and you realize there's no end and that it's not really what you want. What you want or what you're looking for is, isn't this fixed idea of life. It's not, if I go after this, I'll get this. It's this consistent play in relationship that you're creating. And some of you, you've come to a hard edge. What's come to light is that the reason why you've maybe made so much money or built so much is because you've only put, been putting your head down and working. There's nothing wrong with that focus. But now, wherever you find you're annoyed or wherever you get ticked, especially in the household, the way that you communicate where you're at is really important because before maybe you were happy to do that and it looks like you were, you were happy to do that. And now, and now, this is shifting. This is changing. You may want to implement something you didn't think you would and therefore it's showing up for you as this unexpected change of events that turns into a blessing in disguise right maybe a person presenting as someone and it turns out they're not that person it turns out that they for some of you someone could be not what you thought they were and now you have to play like the grown-up role you have to play that role and have to and now you like playing that role you have no, nothing wrong with laying down whatever, but it's usually in the ways in which you like to do it. Now you have to do something you don't really like to do, and it's only going to give you a sense of authority. But it will, and it will also solidify, solidify this inquiry and this ongoing noise, consistent noise in your mind with Mercury, it's gonna go into Virgo. Venus has moved from Virgo into Libra as of when I'm doing this reading. And then Mercury will go into Virgo on the 8th. So it's kind of like the new moon may be clearing up a path for you in ways in which that you saw work. And now Venus and Libra is showing you where that work has become maybe even a detriment to your health. It's not working for you anymore. And for some of you, there might be a person that may ends up leaving the work that you're a part of or you're, you work together and they're leaving the group and you've invested so much time and energy all of, for them to turn around. It's like, no, they're just different than you. Why would you want someone to stay? You want someone to be, this is funny about the Mars signs. This is just funny. You want someone to stay, has no business staying. That's actually, someone who doesn't want to stay around, someone who's not giving to what you're building, especially if you are at the top of where you're at or you're leading something, is only going to cause detriment to the ideas. And, and maybe what you've had thus far was great, but let them end on a good note. You almost felt it. You're just, for some reason, weirdly attached to this to this comfort with this person, then all of a sudden it's opening up for the next best person to come in. But you can't, you can do anything you want. It's your free will. You have to do your best to not be stubborn and doubtful, right? There, there needs to be a controlled sense of doubt right now. You need to control your doubt. You need to control whatever it is that you Eight of Cups to Four of Cups um, can't seem to let go of. And 
Mercury going direct in Leo as of recently is communicating to you maybe through family, friends, um, people that are close to you, uh, and even the way that you care for yourself. Like how you're showing up and caring for yourself right now is also a reflection on your communication, your communication style in the most intimate way because you are the first person in your life. Uh, if you whether you want to look at like that or not, but you are the I as well. You are the child. You are the birth um, archetypally. And what's demanding your attention is this ability to have a lot more compassion, yet you still need to direct this compassion. Cra compassion is more directed empathy, I feel. There are times for empathy, and that is a direction. But then compassion is like, okay, I have this, and this is how you move forward with it. There's an active not as yin it's more yang so yin is still an a passive stretch if you're talking about yoga a passive act this is more of a action act after the passive act and what that is is speaking up for your needs for the future and how quickly that just opens up a whole new pathway but it goes it goes beyond what you were even imagining before because you what you've tapped into Aries what you're tapping into Aries lots of cards this month what you are tapping into I'm just gonna move them around a little is this raw resource that's just been here all along. Sometimes what keeps, what I've realized can keep someone from their potential or including myself, is being stubborn about how you communicate because it's what you want to receive in return. I find that Aries and Libra have this funny thing about them that they share in certain aspects not all of course but you have this moment of clarity where you need to speak to this part of you or from this part of you from this very hurt part of you perhaps victim perhaps part of you that feels stuck behind the wall and lo and behold it's the thing you needed to do in order to gain momentum to create the space that sometimes clearing of the clutter is speaking up not just doing, not just acting, not just reacting, not just causing a moment for a re for the ripple effect to happen or, you know, going out and building a whole pathway forward. Sometimes it's just about being with yourself and acknowledging what in this moment you really need instead of like needing to make money off of it or creating a whole life out of it. This is about that whatever is taking you away from what you really have and what's real for you. Whatever illusions Neptune has been showing you, you will begin to see how important it is for you to feel the success that you've created as opposed to have created it. Because if you've created it and you don't feel it or you don't feel more like yourself or you don't find yourself within it, but you find yourself still looking for something, then you may have been fooled by the trickster. And if that was what was meant to build and show, build you up over this past couple of years with these eclipses, so it was. Because wherever you're going or wherever you are and he are headed, even though this could be a very public display, or even just to you, it feels public, it feels bigger than it is, maybe it feels more emotional, then you may have thought it would be. This is about you mastering being seen in this way. Because... Sometimes we need those very embarrassing or moments where we aren't 
being seen in the best light in order to give ourselves permission to change, especially by the world around us, whether it's you slip up on something, you say something a little more fiery than people would have liked to have had you say it. If there's some sensitivities, you're learning to respect that, but also respect yourself. How do you do that? You express whatever is actually real. Maybe you've thrown some sarcastic things here and there. Maybe you're you're direct with your approach. But your approach is to do this, this, and that. Maybe you go around it, hit someone, make them feel some type of way. But then there's the areas that gets right to it because they want control. Right? You want control of the situation. You want to get right to it so that if you want to direct the conversation, you got it. You do it. Then there's that other side and where we're merging here is where you're willing to be direct, but also not suffer any dumb consequences. You're forging a new path for yourself and being willing to connect so quickly to this mad, this like expansive energy to this change, especially in if you are connecting with another family, you know, you're, you're, you're um, expanding your family or they're meeting each other, there is something about learning how to navigate that in a way where you not just, like, you feel responsible for like a good time, but you're also willing to let the fire breathe. You're also willing to let everyone else because you, you also feel like this sense of needing to maybe protect some of your energy this month as well. On your day to day, you find that you may need space for your own mind to wander and clear because your mind is so powerful. Uh, Aries rules the head. You find that your head <laughs> needs space even. And then I do want to touch Mars moving into Cancer and how that also enhances how you how you treat yourself and how that affects your creativity, how that affects how um, you experience pleasure and joy and what that is for you and if it's just adrenaline or if you've taken it to a healthy state or if you find that you've realized that if you're unwilling to process certain things, then you will consistently meet yourself in a place where you're breaking things down in order just to create a new direction. And now you're coming to a place where you can, you're being met so that you can build the muscle to become vulnerable with yourself, to create new, to remember what it's like to begin you know, you're in that space where you need to try something new or do something else, not for the success, not for the bigness of it, but for you to to learn again. Like you've mastered, you're mastering something, but you're also learning again. Yeah, there's something in your career that's changing. You are, again, being seen for holding down the floor or building something, but you're also, you know, this fresh perspective insight to yourself this I do feel like for a lot of you this is a spiritual awakening and foreshadow into this surprising opening where you connect with spirit you you know the universe source whatever way you want to say it in a way that's through your ideas like that's where you meet and have those discussions. You know, for a higher mind, like there's nothing wrong with talking to God. You know, some of the most um, spiritual, successful people that I've seen that I like have that. They're very open about it. They're open, they're not sharing their intimate relations, but they're open about having that relationship and deepening that and digesting them. There's something that's emerging from your heart and things you find yourself starting to say after all these years or communicate after all these years and it's just releasing you and there's more emotional freedom in this era 
to not hold back until you explode or not to just go running for the goal. It, it's about expressing your day to day and allowing that to create and take form where you're in constant relation, you're constantly going back and forth, but it's actually causing inspiration and an inflow, especially after a loss, perhaps. Especially after this change with yourself, because that is, that is a type of loss as well. And you also may realize how much you have. Seven of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, how much you already have and what you have to create from and being willing to see what you have as untapped potential like you've tapped out in some way but then you're tapping in tapping in the pisces eclipse and tapping out with the libra eclipse that's what it is okay aries you may find yourself wanting to get involved in some kind of group activity too for some of you that'll help spark even if you don't commit to it right just try it out. Yeah. Okay. So the next part, excited to get into it. Link below. Everything else will be there. We'll see you there. Okay. See you next month. Bye, Aries.